This is what happens if you're not growing. God wants to build his church. And he can do that with or without me. Are you following that? Since God can do what he wants to do without me, what's my responsibility? I must do everything to say, Father, don't do without me. Are you guys in agreement? Yes, he said, if these people keep quiet, Chelsea, he said, I will raise up stones to praise me. Why should you raise up stones when I'm here? God will do it with or without me. But I insist, Father, don't do without me. That's why God don't do it without me. I gave you a prophecy. I said, I saw some people falling out. Not because he's God, but because of the devil. But by the grace of God, we we'll pray for God to renew their strength. Amen. 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 If you are not growing, whether as a man or as a woman, jealousy will fill your heart. You will easily be offended. Check yourself. If you find yourself being easily offended, it's a sign that you are on the wrong track. It's not necessary. Jealousy. You will look at another brother taking prayer and you'll be wondering why will pastor let him take prayer when I've been here for this while? If I put my microphone in your hand now I say you take the prayer. <laughs> what is that? I like that. You will not go for me. But you know that's my conversion. Take it back. You know, not because God doesn't want to use you, but because you have not exercised yourself. All the times that God comes to you personally at night and wake you up and say, wake up and read the Bible. Instead of you reading the Bible, you turn on the TV and you start watching the TV. And that's how the Spirit of God will stand. He'll be so angry. It's like a man, a husband or a wife, that wakes his wife at night or wakes her husband at night. They say, I want us to talk about family. And the other person that is woken up. And I say, okay, let's talk about family. Decide to brush her mouth or his mouth and come back and say, okay, let's talk about family. And then the person picks up his phone or her phone or iPad and start doing something else. You're going to feel grieved, right? I woke you up so we can talk, not so you can browse your phone. Are you following that? So the Holy Spirit sometimes will keep you awake just so you can read the Bible. That is the time he wants to give you a gift. But you are bragging in the fact that I've been a Christian for 27 years. You have been a Christian for 27 years? When are the souls that you have won? How articulate are you when it comes to sharing God's word? Does it matter to you that God wants you to be able to communicate the gospel or share stuff with people? Or do you just want to make an excuse and say, me, I'm not called? No. You are all called. And you are also chosen. Amen? Amen. Truth is if you don't embrace the challenges of God to, to you. It will be difficult for God to entrust you with more. And if God doesn't entrust you with more, then you become envious of those that God entrusts with more. You will look for one or two things, so many things, to be angry or offended. I plead with you that this season it's not a season to be offended. This is a season one to be excited. I 
and a season to pray that prayer, Lord, increase my capacity. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, in the last days, there is a horn in Daniel, a horn that will speak high things against the Most High and will weary the saints. I'm trying to choose my words. One of the worst things that can happen to you as a human being, honestly, beside not finding God's purpose for your life, is marrying the wrong person. If you're married to the wrong person, it will affect your destiny. The same way if you are pastored by the wrong pastor. I always pray, Father, if there's anyone in my sheep that are not their pastor, lead them to their pastor so they don't destroy my other sheep. Are you following me? I know what God has called me to do. I'm not worried about crowd. Because when it comes to crowd, watch and see. By God's grace, we will pull the highest crowd Amen. in North and South America. Amen. It's so funny that some pastors can call me. How did you guys get them out right? <laughs> and then see, do you know that some pastors are flying from out of states Amen. just to come? They've already booked their hotel. Amen. Listen, let me tell you, in case you don't know, Jamal Bryant is not coming for fundraiser. He's coming as a chapter opener. And interestingly enough, I didn't mention this, he's coming to our church twice next year. Amen. He's coming back in February again. But here's the big part. Dr. Mike Murdoch is coming twice next year. <laughs> the biggest name in North America. They are coming to our ministry. Is hey. look at Ruby, the Republican politician. He was second to last. One man came and endorsed him. He catapulted him. So Jamal Bryan coming is a defined endorsement. Yeah. Yeah. Are you following that? A divine endorsement, and that's why we're giving him a first class treatment. Limousine, red carpet. He will tell his friends. Red carpet. And the honorarium will be crazy. My prayer, I don't want to lose you along the way. Because story is sweeter if when you get there you look around and you see the people you struggle together with purchasing this property is a press is a challenge whether the devil likes it or yes september 2016 1000 starts establishing this we will walk. We will walk. By the grace of God. He will do it. But I don't want to get there and see just 800 new stars. Or 600 new stars. By registration, we have people that claim to be members of this church. About 600 and something people that now that claim to be members of this church. Of course, some of them once in a while, and blah, 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 and all of that. But I don't want to get there. And I'm looking for you Amen. in the crowd. I want to see you as a leader. Amen. You know the problem that Judas had? 
all the time Satan suggested to him to sell Jesus, he never said, get thee behind me, Satan. Satan might have been suggesting things to your mind and you have not rebuked the devil. Whether you know it or not, you like it or not, church on fire is the next biggest story. Hallelujah! Listen, from 2016 to 22 years, we will keep making headlines upon headlines upon headlines upon headlines. Hallelujah! Positive headlines. Sometimes when you share story, when you share testimony, try to connect it to the spiritual aspect. Like, uh, it's a she didn't connect that spiritual aspect of it. She talked about the wonderful thing. But I'm sure that you remember during that uh, one of those night vision, why I scream and I called you. I said, why is she you come? And, and, and we prayed. Because I didn't tell you everything I saw. But the opposition yeah. to your promotion was what I saw. And I called again. I said, do you remember that night, night, that night which I called and prayed for you? I anointed you and I prayed again. The second, and the Sunday again. Because I saw what was given to her. And three hands dragging to take the crown from my head. I said, come here. And we put oil on your head. Remember when you are sharing testimony so that people can connect to the fact that, oh, God gave you this thing. Amen? Amen. And Satan would have robbed her of this. Yes. Thank God she's an obedient child because she was going to move out of this state before. God said, no, stay. And she stayed. And it's just the beginning of all this is child's play. That one, presidential decision of your company. You are recognized in the financial world of your company. Not in America yet. We are waiting for the day that will be watching you on TV. No, why would I watch on TV? You will bring my special invitation. Bring it that the president will call you and give you your own award. Please, I want every one of you to excel. But I can't do it for you. It is your responsibility to take what I'm teaching you. And just as what I'm about to teach you today, take what I'm teaching you, what I'm preaching to you, and put it to work. Also, do your own best to develop yourself with God. God is not a respecter of man. If you develop yourself in the secret, it will show in the public. God looks at your private labor and efforts and rewards you publicly. Don't be weary. The enemy will seek to weary people. So I want us to pray for all our brethren, wherever they are. Anyone that is under any satanic manipulation, weariness, discouragement, or tiredness. When times like this come for events like this, that's what the enemy likes to do. The thing I say, you sit down, I'll tell you. I will just don't worry about that again. And what I wanted to read was from the book of Nehemiah. Because when Nehemiah decided, I will raise the, the building, the wall of God's house of Jerusalem, <laughs> all hell broke loose. First, a man, two men called Sambalat and Tobiah showed up. There are always Sambalats. And Tobiah that wants to show up what was their mission to discourage the people to oppose it they won't do it but when someone decides to rise and do it they try to stop so somebody had such and tried to discourage the people that were building with his mouth they stopped to read a few scriptures. But when they tried and tried, <laughs> Nehemiah said, We prayed to our God. He said, Let not your hands be weary, let your hands be strong. Whenever God is doing something great, the devil hates it. I was going to send it on WhatsApp broadcast early this morning, around 4 30 a.m. But I didn't want to because I don't want him to go and post it on my fan page yet. I can do that later. But among several things the Lord said to me, he said, just as I told you, this is not a church, this is an altar. The Lord said, this altar 
will disgrace the powers of darkness. Yeah. I'm telling you, this altar will disgrace the powers of darkness. Yeah. I don't want to lose you. Most of you have struggled with me. And we're, we, I don't want to use the word struggle, but trust me, we've been through things together. There are those that for nine years they've been waiting for me to fall. I have not fallen. Amen. I will not fall. Thank you. Not fall. I cannot fall. They've been waiting. Sister Chung has been here. The Doris has been here. Magali and most of you have been here. They've been some are literally praying and be waiting for me to make mistake. But instead of me to make mistake, I keep on taking my place. Amen. As you are rising. Your rise will begin to threaten some. As we pray, you will see what God will do. Amen. Some thought that by this time, David Philemon would have expired. But David Philemon is just about to start. If you are not praying for me, then guess what? You are not in love with your own future because. If I'm praying for you, don't pray for me. It's not right. right. If you are going to be great, expect opposition. Period. Yeah. Expect it. Yeah. Expect it. We pray for those that are weary. We pray that God will renew their strength. Amen. We pray that God will renew their strength. Amen. But the altar we are moving to, we will disgrace the devil. Yeah. We will disgrace poverty. Amen. Oh, disgrace for what a time comes where and I said in the first service by God's grace I'm not raising you so that you be you be a giver to church on fire because giving to church on fire to you is like breathing yes, hallelujah so that scripture she read she said and at the point they were restrained it was the man of God that said is enough yes. Moses said ah, we have more than we want is enough may that become our story yes. I'm praying for you and I'm raising you so that you become a kingdom builder. Amen. Because the, 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 the church in Asia, especially the church in China, has been operating as an underground church with two, three million membership. But every time I pray, I've been praying in China. Amen. Most of you will hear me say, Oh, one day when you get to heaven, you meet a, a, someone who tells you that. Oh, I, 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 someone from China who tells you that it was your prayer that brought me here. Amen. I have a strong body for them. Keep praying for them. And the Lord said to me that the joke, the demon of communism is leaving China. Amen. So guess what will happen? A time comes now. As soon as that demonic thing is destroyed, guess what? Now, churches will not begin to spring up. Amen. I'm looking at a day where we will call one person in this church and put one billion say maker we are sending you to represent us in china and we are giving you one billion dollars go and find out how many churches we can build and they say well it can build a very nice comfortable at least one thousand churches we will build one thousand or two thousand or five thousand churches that's my heart in your lifetime, the minimum you are allowed to build is 10 churches Amen. from your own pockets. Amen. That's what I'm raising you to do. Amen. And by the grace of God, you will get there. Amen. Raising you to have a kingdom mindset. Amen. So expect people to, some people not to like you. I receive text messages. All the while we get quiet about this stuff. But now we posted it up. I received text messages from my pastor's friends. One of them actually called me. And he said, man of God, he said no matter what I'm doing, I must be there he said, you are making us proud Amen. you don't understand that in the African community by God's grace God is giving us this property in the heart on the north side of Chicago with the hundred packing and with all those things, and bringing Jamal Bryant now, if great churches like Redeem does this, we we'll say glory to God. But Redeem has passed away a 50 years old church. 
If we as God start 35 years old, church, they are for any book. So you can't talk about we are talking about pioneers of their own ministry, leaders of ministry that are breaking ground, defying wicked powers in North and South America. And that's why I always say, check my roots. I sat for for seven years. Passport large churches, built large churches. When I was living, I was prayed for, blessed, and giving money. Giving money. And I was giving letter of to whom it may concern. From the headquarters, they said, this is a, a Pastor David Philemon. I recognize in this ministry that any assistance you can render to him, please do with the signature of Papa Yeriko. Amen. That's why, as I'm talking to you now, even though this is Sunday, but it's already evening in Nigeria, if I call Bishop David Abioye right now, who is the vice president of the ministry, we're on the altar, call his phone right now. The phone may ring one, two, three times, he will pick up my call right here. He calls me every He calls me on his own every week. His assignment to me is I must call every week. So I'm connected with my fathers, Amen. with my source. We are going places. This walk will humiliate the powers of darkness. Amen. Please, I want you to know as we pray this prayer, I want to say to you that whenever you see anything or anyone, listen, everyone, listen very well. Hold the keyboard. Whenever you see anything or anyone opposing me, know that that thing or that person is operating under a demonic influence Amen. at that time. Amen. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, which by the grace of God and the prayer of some of the saints, God has helped me and has kept me on track. Amen. And by his grace, I will never slide away. Amen. Even the devil, right now, if I backslide, the devil will reject me. No, you don't understand. If I backslide, the devil will think I'm a spy. He said, no, no, this is a spy. We reject your backsliding. <laughs> Amen. I'm sold out to the kingdom. Amen. So if you see people or someone talking and attacking me, tell them, brother, sister, you are backsliding. I will pray for you. Yes. Because I'm telling you, there's no way I can please everybody. Yes, That's why I need you to rise as leaders to be my mouth. But if I want you to be my mouth, but you are becoming my nose, how can I talk to you? Oh. When you are supposed to represent me, you are the one saying, mm, we don't know, we are just going, God is God. <laughs> if you are just coming, go somewhere else. Honestly, I love to keep everyone. But I will not keep somebody that will give me heart attack. Oh, somebody is now wondering why is he saying this? I'm saying this because I want you to know that where we are going to, Satan is afraid of it. So don't say I didn't warn you. I've been telling you long ago. I said, don't be the one that is left out. Don't be the one left behind. Don't be the one left out. But you have to strive. We need to see you act. If you can handle some things like uh, 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 Sister Carla, you can preach like Pastor Bright or Minister Carla or Pastor Jennifer, Pastor Mio, and if you can't do all these things, Pastor Carl, Pastor Carl <laughs> do the little you can but make sure you are active because if you are active, you will let the work go forward, I've been talking so let's pray, two quick prayer first, Father by your mercy and your power Renew the strength of all our brethren. We come against the spirit of weariness, discouragement, or threat. Because there are some people that will feel threatened by the rise of others. You don't have to feel threatened by the rise of others. If someone is rising, remember I told you concerning Joseph and his brothers. The brothers told him because he had a dream. What they should have had was, he had his dream, they should go and have their own dreams. If I sleep and I say, I, I just saw in a vision that I'm your ruler, you are my slave. Say no challenge. I'll go back and sleep. You two go and sleep your sleep and see and reverse the vision in your sleep. Are you following that? Reverse it. Don't be threatened by the rise of another person. 
Satan is so cunning and subtle. And sometimes people will not say the real thing that is in their mind. But that's the thing. Jealousy, fear, or weariness, or discouragement. Whereas everybody has a place if we can just press on. Say I'm pressing on. I'm pressing 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 on. Someone was upset that during the anniversary I told them to join in cleaning the place. How many of you saw me clean? Before the anniversary. How many of you were there when we were setting up? How many of you are there after we finish? I. We, how many of you saw Pastor Brian? We removed our coats and try to our brother normal. Is it not true, guys? And all of us that stayed and did last, last thing. Even when some of you got tired and you left, they be feeling on stay there and clean. Why are people very inconsiderate? And they won't come to church because Pastor David asked them to clean. How why will they tell me to clean? Are you a child of God? No, no, really. Ask yourself. Most people are too sentimental. When somebody says such thing to you, you say, ah, well, that's true. He should have known that you are you. He should not have asked you. Yeah. Amen. So, we're going to pray. When we're praying, I want you to come against agents of confusion in your life. There are human beings that one phone call from them will, will somersault your brain. What you believe and what you thought you believe, one negative phone call if you read the whole book of Nehemiah, you will find out Sambalat and Tobiah. The Bible says at some point they came and they discouraged the people. And Nehemiah got up. It happened in Ezra too. He arose. He said, no. And God strengthened the hands of the people. So agents of confusion in your life. Agents of confusion in your life. You will attack those things and send them out of your life. Yeah. Anything hindering when your breakthrough is coming, when you are almost there, that's when you give up and, dis and get discouraged and back off. Why? Agents of confusion. Nehemiah insisted. And you know what happened? By the time Nehemiah finished building the walls, guess who came? Sambalat and Tobiah. And they said, Please, we want to be a part of you. Nehemiah said, You are an evil person. In fact, anything you have in Jerusalem, we are taking back from you. Nehemiah said, you get away from us. Sambalat and Tobiah. They finally, they couldn't stop the assignment of Nehemiah. And when Nehemiah finished, they now came and they said, um, um, we want to be with you. Nehemiah said, you are not serious. Are you following that? I want you to raise up your right hand. Pray this prayer as if your entire life depends on this. Mom, especially for you. Pray this prayer. As if your life depends on this divine assistance. The Lord said that we help you. Divine assistance. Divine assistance. No. Are you looking at me? Sister Stephanie, do you want to stand or you want to sit? Bless him, please stand. Please, if you are sitting, stand. I will allow you to sit down in a few minutes. Agents of confusion, near success syndrome. Raise up your right hand of authority. Ziakura bata kata bata kata kata. Nekron uskolo breketi akuskala prakati apa. Stretch that hand towards the altar. Liembro koso breketi ando koshi kata. Ziga balaga de breketi akoto tuto breketi akata breketi.
your friends and colleagues. I'm not kidding you. Why you can they take it? Started doing this the way Lord told him to do. Everybody laughed at him. Can I take it? We do camp meeting and camp meeting will go for seven hours. Everybody laughed at him. And one day somebody criticized him. And can I take it? Was somebody that never responded to any criticism with hatred. He always responded with love. But one day he opened his mouth and he said, Well, God told me that when they are all gone, I will still be here. You know what? Out of all of them, Kenneth Hagin was a man in his generation that had his children, his grandchildren, great grandchildren, great great grandchildren. For the fifth generation now, they are all preachers. Preachers, heavy duty. Thank God for Papa or a robot. He had a change later. But do you know that as at that time, or a robot, great man of God, but he will be holding crusade downstairs. His son, Richard Robert, will be holding rock and roll upstairs. Richard Robert that is now preaching and you see you love him, was a rascal. But not only that, let me tell you the funny part. Papa or a robot, all their son, of drug addiction. He died. His other child was also the same. I'm giving you a foundation. Your friends may not understand where you are going to. Don't be a victim of their suggestions. I'm giving you a foundation that in the next 10 years, the difference will be clear. They will be running to you, begging you for prayers, begging you to lay hands on them. When Papa Eriko was drilling us, some of our colleagues, pastor, pastor colleagues, oh, you need to hear, that's why I say some pastors need to be born again. You need to hear statements that some pastors will make. And actually, you know, the moment we catch any pastor making any tight statement against Papa, we disconnected. We cut off completely. Papa will take us from 7 p.m. till 5 a.m. The man that is talking is not tired. You that sit here are sitting, you are the one tired. And then they come out and say, it's, it's, it's too much. Out of all of us in those days, from 387, we remain 70, 77. Out of the 77 of us, right now, I'm talking to you. Give and take maximum. Maybe 20 of us are still in the ministry. Because those ones that were complaining, so when Papa start ministry, they will sneak out and go and sleep somewhere. Check Longi Cho. The same thing happened when they were in Bible school. Five of them, friends, they didn't have a lot of education, but they had revelation. They will go aside and pray, pray, pray. Five friends. Longi Cho said, out of everyone in that their Bible school days, most of them died at 60, 50, 40. He says some of them are not in ministry, but the five of them that spent all night praying, they are still very strong. Amen. Young Gicho is a pastor of the largest church in the world. He said, when I want to deal with principalities in, in South Korea, just three minutes, five minutes prayer, bah, I've destroyed the stronghold. But when I go to Japan, he said one day he went to Japan. The demon came to the hotel, nearly killed him. And the demon said, I'll kill you today. And he said, no, you can't kill me. But the demon put fear in him. And guess what? In a few minutes, there was a physical earthquake. That hotel shook. And he started running. And the Lord said, where are you running to? Start here and arrest that spirit. And he arrested that spirit. Show me a powerful man. I'll show you a prayerful man. I'm helping you. You may not like me today. I don't. I don't want to say this prophecy, but I'm gonna say it. Then it's so, so can hear. Not with negative. Not with a negative mindset. I had a vision, and I saw Dennis was in a in a car driving with someone, and the thing was the car was on a highway. 
So every time when a man of God is trying to come to you, and maybe Satan might just look for a way. And you know the devil knows my assignment in your life. And so you do everything. She was on the highway, and suddenly the person opened sincerely. I didn't see the person's face. But I knew it was somebody. The person opened the door and threw her out of the car on the highway. And I told her. So it's clear you are riding on a car, it's relationship. So Satan can use anybody. The work, the thing you should be you should be careful of is let me not enter into the car of somebody that started smiling with me and I think is a friend only to get on the highway of life and I'm thrown out of the way. I'm telling you, Satan knows why he's trying to block you out of out of this ministry. Satan knows Satan is afraid. For, for something this morning, I called this. I knew what I saw. I called you for something. My wife was there because um, we came back from uh, Maryland and I was so tired, I couldn't even come to the church. And I stayed back on my step until about 2 a.m. I rest, I needed to rest. And I woke up and I started doing that. Satan knows. I'm helping you. And I guarantee you, you let your heart be right. You may think I'm drilling you. I'm doing what is good for you. Amen. Are you following that? Yes, sir. I'm going to take this last prayer. You stretch your hands towards this altar. Niakuros kali marasi kataya. The Lord said, the Lord showed me a vision and he showed me a painter painting. At first the paint didn't look so beautiful. And I was wondering why is this paint so scattered and ugly? Then I kept seeing the hand and kept putting the finishing touch. And by the time that, that thing finished pushing the finishing touch, you know what the Lord now said to me? I asked him, I said, what is this? The Lord said to me, he said, what do you think? I said, this is beautiful. It was a beauty I could not describe or they explain. But the Lord said, this is beautiful, right? And then the good thing about it is that he touched it a second time and I saw the beauty perfected. And the Lord said to me, perfected beauty. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. And the Lord said, the month of December is your month of perfected beauty. Amen. But listen now, why are you perfecting our beauty? Because I asked question. And I said, Lord, why are you perfecting the beauty? The Lord said, because in 2016, I want to showcase you. Amen. God wants to showcase you to the world in 2016. Most of you have labored and have done things here and there. The same way pastors are asking, when did he start? Don't worry about all those kind of questions, okay? But people will ask questions about your life. Amen. Your success will demand explanation. Amen. You will look for explanation, you can't explain it. Amen. You will try to convince people, you will not find any evidence. Amen. They will see the results, they cannot deny the results. Amen. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Perfected beauty, God wants to showcase you in 2016. Yeah, yeah. Please stretch your hands towards the altar. I want you to settle 2016. You will settle 2016. Whatever you are doing, stretch your hands. Prayer warriors, stretch your hands. Instrumentalists, stretch your hands. It's not time to play uh, music now. It's time to stretch your hands to the altar and catch something. I see. Huh, don't see. You will see. The, the elevation that I see coming to you in 2016 will shock the world. It will shock the world. You will see. You will see. You will see. And I will see an award. I see an award. Stretch your hands towards this altar. As I'm praying for you, those of you in front, please, I'll, I wanted to give you the word God is saying to you, but I won't have time. So what I'll do is I'll just anoint your heads and you go back. After the service, I can speak to you um, one on one. Amen. But as a, the whole idea of this is this anointing will turn your life around. Amen. You, will never, you or your loved ones will never have any reason to weep or to be disgraced. Amen. You'll be elevated. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Pray stretch us towards the altar, please. It's a place of power. Mio Cruz Calembra. God told them, He said, if 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 this people in captivity and they stretch their hands towards this building in Jerusalem, I will hear. There's something about the altar 
Oh, thank you, Father. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By your power. By your power. And authority. I place a place in demand. On your glory. That is upon your altar. By your power. By your power. On this altar. On this altar. I demand. Supernatural intervention, the perfection of my beauty. Let my destiny be perfected and let my life be showcased to your glory in 2016. I will not miss my place in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and make it your prayer. Open your mouth and make it your prayer. Rasa papa, ini pepepe, 
Refreshed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I congratulate you. Amen. You have stepped into honor. Amen. The kind of honor that you want to be here. Amen. You are not dying. Amen. You will live to declare the good works of God. Amen. Amen. You see, those that look down on you, those that rejected you, you will see God will begin to cause them to celebrate you. Amen. And the very longing of your heart is, you know. It's a way that God has done this, God has done that. But this is what you say, God, 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 can you do it for me? The Lord said to tell you, it is done. Amen. Amen. Now, glory to God. Somebody shout it Amen. Oh, beautiful Jesus. Please give her the name. Wipe that tears because you never cry again. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. This is so strange to me. A woman, not your. I think what we should start doing is start having food in church so that after service, <laughs> so that we can just eat and all these little kids can have food to eat, okay? We should do that, amen? No challenge. So that's somebody's ministry. Receive the resources to do it. Jesus okay, so uh, please, this is it with Roslyn. Roslyn, it's a woman that I see, but very clear. Don't ever think it's your stepmother, so don't think that's your stepmother. It's not near your stepmother at all. Your stepmother is a very good woman. It's a woman that I saw. You guys want to, to say, I won't say everything, I won't discuss any situation, but I will tell what she did, and will pray. Okay? The woman, no, this other part will be too graphic, but I'll just say this. She took her hand with pepper, grounded pepper, and put on her private parts and invoked three curses upon Roslyn. When I laid my hands upon her, the Lord showed me the first one broke. And then I was going to move in a hurry. He said, no, can't you see? Then I looked and I saw. He showed me the situation. He showed me the authorization. What authorized her to do that? And then he told me, don't let her leave here today without that thing being completely. Amen. Amen. Ah. Rosley. Sincerely speaking, 
I've never felt as happy for you as I'm feeling right now. You guys should clap on. Because if you don't know what is doing you, what is doing you will do you. You can stay for years not knowing what is wrong. And all of a sudden, after several years, then you'll be wondering, what is it? What is it? And if you can't change it, then you make an excuse. This is the house of deliverance. Amen. Amen. Please stretch your hands towards her. Rosalind, I want you to, when we pray for you, <laughs> aggressively break every negative enchantment and decree against your life. Amen. Ooh, Rosalind, you are about to enter into a beautiful future. Amen. I see the road now becoming express. Amen. Smooth. Amen. Smooth. Amen. And you don't even know the road I see. It's a smooth road that leads up here. Amen. Now, don't just say amen to an up here life. You need to have enough your your enough fire, enough propeller, and your um, what's this thing in a car that moves the car? Oh, not accelerator now. Eh? No. No. No, 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 no. Not the carburetor. Not the carburetor. Okay, hold on. What is it that if your car, if that, no, that thing that transmits power to your battery? The transmitter? No, not the transmitter. Alternator. Alternator. That thing that transmits power to your battery. You have battery, but if the alternator is not working, your car will not move on. And shall when you are climbing, when you are going up here, you go boom, 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 boom. So God is taking you high now. So you need to stay connected. Make sure you call the prayer line all the time. Make sure you call the prayer line. And when you get back to his team, if you are going back to his team, when you get back to his team, um, make sure you get a very good church. I will pray and look for a church there where you should be attending and, and a church where there's fire like this. You can't go to a place where they just do those normal two-hour service and go home. Don't do that. This time, you need to increase your spiritual uh, momentum because of what lies ahead of you next year. Raise up your, your, your two hands. I was, I was studying. To, that was prayer. I was in prayer. I saw several visions. So I saw a vision of your friend. Um, she's in Superwoman. Molly, you can call and ask her. So I saw a vision of your friend. And the Lord said, ah, this and this and that and everything. Then I sent her a text. Where's my phone? I will have asked someone to just read it. Um, but I don't want the other very terrible side to be exposed. But she was like, this is, this is, this is unbelievable. So I sent her that. Oh, people of God, thank God for your lives. Okay. Amen. So I, I sent her that and... And then I said, I sent it to her. Um, Sister Lala, I, Somali, I, how are you? Hope you're ready that I for this. I'm praying for you. And when I go, so then the first thing she said, Pastor Bright, was what? She's in Nigeria. Okay, I'm just going to read it. Don't worry. First, she said, Pastor David. Then she sent another one. Good afternoon, sir. Wow. An honor to see this message from you. And very comforting, too. And I said, glory be to God, all is well. The Lord has been speaking to me about you. So I'm praying for your total protection. So because of the da 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 Then she said, amen, sir. You couldn't have said this any other time. At this, at any other time. I have been to la 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 la. To the point I tried that la 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 la. Um, so I thank you for this time. So I said, she call me. Now, she is way back in Nigeria. I'm here praying for her in the, in the distance. And the Lord showed me her vision to call her and to see if it's someone I've not spoken to for, for a while. And thank God for what God did. So, so what I've seen about you, I will not give detail, but the one I gave is enough. Are you following that? I'm thinking whether to send that pepper into that lady's life, that woman's life. Or to just leave her and reverse it from the back. 
Huh? Send it back. <laughs> Send it back. Okay. You know the worst thing uh, 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 Prophet John Bull said? Hmm. Your biggest problem is when the person, uh, when the person helping you to look for your thing is the one that stole that thing from you. So what is happening is that there is going to be a serious fight. When it happens, you will tell me. Stretch your hands towards her. Uh -uh. Why will you curse me? And when you see me, you hug me and say you are my sister. And you claim you are my daughter. Oh, you are my friend. For what? For what? For what? I don't even want to say that or that thing. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray for your daughter. And command every contrary power. And every curse. Every spell. Cast against her. Cast upon her. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. We reverse it. Back to the center. We turn your life around. And position you for divine honor. Divine favor. Divine acceleration. Divine speed. Up here. With strength. On the inside. New story. New chapter. In the name of Jesus. Up your mouth and pray. Shut up. I stop the effect. Stop the effect of this thing. I pray. I pray confusion between that of family. Stop confusion. Shake the kati bara kati bara. Ro kati kati bara kati kati bara. Ro soko kati bara kati bara. Daya kute 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 kute. Kute kute kati bara kati bara. Something has been settled. Yes. Amen. You think something has been settled? Amen. 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 I feel like uh, postponing my message to next week again. Oh, by the way, next week um, uh, uh, there's someone, a friend of us, that is coming here. So, right, we the one ministry next week. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Uh, so I just feel like. Um, closing the service. What do you think? Amen. No, I'm not going to judge you. Don't feel that like if I say yes, Pastor, we say something. 
How many of you feel like we've accomplished some things in the spirit? Amen. A lot has been done. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Whether we called you or not. Hallelujah. That's it. And that's the truth. 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 I'm praying for every one of you. Your children would not be victims. In Jesus' mighty name. So you see how loaded my knot is? Here, this is the beginning of my note here, 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 here. But do you know what I discovered that is one of the reasons why believers don't receive much? They have word, they have stuff, but they don't receive much from God. Is because there are invisible barriers. Okay? So when we pray like this and do things like this, we have taken care of those invisible barriers. Yeah. I have one question to ask you. Can I be your true pastor without trying to impress you? Yes. Huh? Yes. Can I just please God without trying to yes. make you feel, without trying to impress you? Yes. I, can I be that? Yes. Can I just let God use me? When we come to service, can I let God use me? Yes, yes sir. Do you know there was a day that Solomon offered sacrifice? The glory filled the house. The priest could not stay inside the house. At the end of the day, all that happened was Solomon now prayed and God responded. There was no preaching. God was the one that preached that day. In this service, God has preached though. From the book of Nehemiah, God has preached. So, I would like to be your pastor and a true shepherd that loves you and serves you. If I tell you exactly what the Lord said to me now, He said the job has been done. Hallelujah. Are you following me? The job has been done. So, those of you that are used to taking notes, just go back and rethink of all the things I said and take your notes. Or just take your time to read the book of um, Nehemiah. Just read the whole book of Nehemiah. And as you read the book of Nehemiah, you will find God speaking to you. Amen. I'm so happy. What will happen is we're going to receive our tithes, we're going to receive our offerings, building pledges. And I'll ask um, uh, Sister Caroline to come and give us an announcement, a very quick announcement. But please, this evening, um, uh, I want to take time from 11 to 2 to pray here in the church. If you feel led of God, you can come and join me. Amen. I just want to pray random prayer. Amen. And I'm going to be praying with my headphones on and music. So those are kind of those some of those prayers I go. And if you are coming, you have to know that we may have microphone on, but I'm just going to go. We may not have microphone on. I'm just going to go. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going for one, two, three hours. But if you come, I might give you one or two days so that you can flow in the prayer. But when you come, we should be ready to pray. We will play music. And we'll go, 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 go. Run really hard. Destined on knocking prayer. Mm. Amen. Amen. I will not bury any of you. Amen. And you will not bury any of yours. Amen. I feel that I will not bury any of you. And you will not bury any of yours. Amen. Beside that, this this altar, this program, God will use it to launch you to a new phase of prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So tonight, I mean tomorrow night, Monday, I'm gonna be here praying, which is tomorrow night. That's it tomorrow night. Oh, I thought I was supposed to do it this night. Okay, I'll do it tomorrow night. Okay. Then Tuesday night, we have another prayer meeting here from 11 to 4. Those of you that want to come. Then Wednesday night, our service, everyone, I encourage you to fast. Please, if you can wait until after the service before you break, great. But if you cannot, you can break at 3 o'clock. Amen. 3 o'clock. Don't break earlier than 3 o'clock unless you are pregnant. Amen. Or you are breastfeeding. But everyone should just do that. Amen. All right. Um, there is a strong anointing that God is releasing upon us. So I'm praying for that so that you can be a particular of this. Amen. Amen. Strong healing anointing. God will perfect your destiny. Amen. I want you to bring out your tithes and your offerings. God bless you. I will anoint your head after the service. As soon as we share the grace, please, everyone's head must be anointed. 
Please watch us share the tithes on our head. Share the on offering envelopes. Everyone's head will be anointed. Pray for you. Continue to pray for your children. The thing you should have asked the person was, are you truly born again? Did Jesus say if you want to be great, you should be what? Small. But then he said, did you see Pastor David cleaning himself? You saw David feeling more remove his coats. I will be on the altar one minute, release power, anointing fire with fall. And you see all and you know I'm anointed. But then the next minute my coat is off and I'm busy cleaning as a servant. Yes. And then you'll be angry that I asked you to clean. Cleaning in the house of the Lord has a spiritual connection. That one, that's Pastor Bright's ministry. So he has said it several times. Okay. But let me tell you, the, the more you clean, but let me tell you the whole idea. Do you know that most people that think like that is not their thoughts, it's the devil. Even Peter, it was Satan that put that thought in his mind. That's why I, I'm saying you should pray for them. Okay? Satan put it in his mind. But Jesus said, get it behind me, Satan. Why? Satan wants to weary them. Why? The devil knows that the next level we are going to is going to announce their lives and their destiny. Are you following that? Are you following that? So when you hear things like that, first thing is arrest the spirit behind it, okay? And I'm so happy when, I mean, when I hear things like this, I say, well, I know the area to channel my prayer now. Father, every evil voice suggesting things to people, Silent. let that voice be silenced. Because that voice should have told you that ah, this man of God is a true man of God. He has been serving. He's here and I can look at him and I know his weaknesses. And he stands for me, he stands with me, prays with me. I mean, I'll stand with you, I'll pray for you, pray for your children, pray for your family. And one simple opportunity, somebody we have, we will say, that guy is a yeah, yeah guy. Are you a child of God? <laughs> so I want us to pray for our brethren. I'm telling you, this is not normal. Jesus told Peter, I have prayed for you. Amen. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your mercy, by your, by your power, by your and authority, we bind every foul spirit, every contrary spirit, every wicked spirit that has been assigned against your people. Down and release you to sit down and 
then um, let's go please read this and pray all right everyone let's read one to go and I told them of the hand of my God which was good upon me as also of the king's word that he has spoken unto me and they said unto me let us rise up and build so they strengthened their hands raise your hands say father I strengthen my hands for this good work in the name of Jesus father I strengthen the hand of my sister the hand of my neighbor for this good work we strengthen the hand of all our congregation in the name of Jesus now go ahead verse 19 verse 19 look at verse 19 everybody read one to go but when Sambalat the Horonite and Tobiah the servant the Ammonite and Geshem the Arabian had it hold on you see there is always there are always Sambalat and Tobiah in the pursuit of every kingdom dream that's why thank God we did not publish the news early because as much as many pastors were calling to congratulate, some pastors were angry. Guess what their anger was? When did he start? We've been here 19 years, 20 years. We have to go to the south side to buy property. You think that I started ministry when I came to America? No, sir. Let me I have lived in the lion's den for the sake of ministry. I have slept on the carpet in the carpenter's workshop for the sake of ministry. I have been disowned by my biological father for two years for the sake of ministry. I have suffered, attacked by witches and wizards. But guess what? God glorified Himself. I paid price. Amen. Amen. And God kept me. Let me tell you, in the year 2016, God will honor Himself in your life. So we kept quiet about this whole thing until the right time when we now said it's open our mouth. So they wanted 50,000 as honest payment. We ended up paying 70,000 because we could not explain where the other 20,000 came from. Hallelujah. So here is, here is the thing. Ask Samalat and Tobiah, please, as I'm talking to you, I want you to know that I'm actually speaking because Rosalind, please come, let me pray for you. Your children, parents, if you have children here, pray for them. The joy of every parent is to see their children rise and excel. But if there are Sambalats and Tobiah in the lives of your children, they are the ones responsible for spoiling the glory of your children in their absence. This prayer we're about to pray, God will walk in your feet. Yes. So what did they do? Read on quickly. He said, come here please. He said, when they heard of it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that they that he do? Will you rebel against the king, rebel against the king? Go ahead, verse 20. Loud and clever one. Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, he who his servants will arise and build. But you have no portion, no right, no memorial in Jerusalem. Sambalat and Tobiah. Jump to chapter 4, verse 1. The same Sambalat and Tobiah came. When they had the next news of progress, say I will progress. I will progress. Irrespective, Irrespective of my adversary's opinion. May every enemy that has been expecting your disgrace be put to shame. Let's read together one to go. But it came to pass that when Sambalat had that we built up the wall, and what happened? He was wrong, he was angry and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. He was angry because we are building. 
if you think that then everybody is happy because they saw this go and think again go and check every great project that has been done in god's kingdom has been opposed by people that god boycotts boycotted and gave the job to another person it's a privilege for you and i even if your dime is in it or your prayer is in it you will not be put to shame go to the next verse go to verse 2 uh -huh. they spoke and they talked they despised the whole thing and everything but look at um, uh, let's read let's read and he spoke before the, his brethren the army of Samaria and said what will these people choose will they fortify themselves will they sacrifice will they make an end in a day will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish will which are burned verse 3 verse 3 now Tobiah the Ammonites was by him and said even that which they built if a fox go up he shall even break down their stone wall what's your business if a fox will break my wall go and build your wall I pray that this is nothing but pure jealousy you are looking at your life and you think everybody likes you I pray everybody likes you but Jesus said if everybody likes you woe unto you you are a suspect are you following that but let the people that like you be more than the people that hate you but even if everybody hates you let God's purpose for your life prosper let God's will for your children prosper verse 4 everyone everyone let's read verse 4 let's go pray yeah oh our God for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity there are so many means that must be given for a prey are you following me those that want your children to be useless they are the ones that will be useless at this point i think everybody should stand those that want if you think you don't have a child yet <laughs> Ah, any power that wants your children to be useless including your unborn children it is those powers that will be useless Amen. Nehemiah said turn their reproach upon their own head upon their own head verse 5 He told David, he said, you see, I did not treat you the way I treated your predecessor. He said, when I when Saul sinned against me, I took him out. But for you, I've had mercy on you. So now that you're looking at me, looking all nice, I know you are really nice. But if God was to expose on this screen your life as at one week ago, hey, mercy. No, but for real, most of you, nothing bad will come out. But for some of you, it's just the condition of your heart. That jealousy in your heart, that one you have towards your, your co-worker, another person, might be the wrong thing in your heart. Are you following that? So, Nehemiah said, God, do not cover their iniquity. So I'm praying for you. If you notice all these days, I've been praying for you and your family and your children. You had the, the thing about uh, had, you had uh, Daphne's testimony. Anything that will bring sorrow around you, that's what I'm attacking. Amen. I'm attacking rather. Amen. So both you and anyone that have the capa capability of affecting your emotion, anything that will bring sorrow around you, I stop them. that will sponsor that sorrow because somebody come to your child and give your son a bad advice and he does something wrong at his place of work they fire him or her who will carry the ship you. is you any human 
that has been anointed by Satan to pressurize your destiny in a negative way. May God put that evil upon your head. He said, cover not your sin and let not your sin be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger uh, before the builders. Verse 6. Verse 6, everybody. Read one to go. So we built, so built with the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind. I see God giving you all a mind to work. You will not be discouraged until the work is complete. Your children will have a mind to work on their destiny. Yeah, yeah. Your grandchildren will have a mind to work on their dreams. Yeah, yeah. Everyone in this family will have one mind to work. Yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Verse 7. Verse 7, quick. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites, you see, he started as Sambalat and Tobiah. Now he had created a company. He had already formed a group of communication. Those he called and he tell, he said, look at these people trying to do this, trying to do that. Trying to do this, trying to do that. Trying to do this, trying to do that. Please, Edna Choi, can you stand for educate? I'm saying something I want to quickly pray for you. Please come forward and stand for you. Are you following that? Yes, ah, la Are you following that? Why they had the Bible says they had that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the bridges began to be stopped. Guess what? Then they were very angry. Where is that translation? He says they were very angry. What's your headache? I'm trying to make my life count. You are angry. Do you understand? How many of you want to make your life count? Hallelujah. You are investing in prayer right now. Prof, come here. Come and sit here. Come and sit here. When you sit with Moses and you are laughing and making noise. Moses. Come for the answer. Please move over. The idea he became furious. Why will you be angry? Because somebody has decided to get the master's degree. Why will you be angry? Someone angry that Pastor David is telling people they have to get master's degree. Why? Why? You are angry? Please go and get GED. I will not be so. Go and go back and get GED. I see when you get the master's degree, you are putting the money in my pocket. So I'm saying now, I disqualify all of every one of you from getting master's degree. You are qualified to get your PhD. Yeah. In this church, you get the Baba for PhD. Yeah. So if they get angry and say that, we will raise the PhD to a big PhD. Yeah. Are you following that? Furious, verse, verse 8. Verse 8. And they plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and throw it into confusion. Any power seeking to put your life, your efforts, your family, your children into confusion, I bind in the name of Jesus. of the adversary to push you in a place of confusion yes. Yes. because whenever the kingdom of God is rising Satan is angry and those for whom the kingdom was meant they end up losing it to those who it was not meant for I didn't say that Jesus said that did you know that Jesus said that do you know Jesus said that it's in the Bible he told them look at you you call yourself Jesus the church as the people that the kingdom was not meant for will rise up in judgment and condemn you. They will take the kingdom. Not you. Your own portion will be delivered to you. Confusion. 
What was the solution? Everybody read loud and clear. So we prayed so to our God and stationed a God because of them. They so we prayed. We prayed. Sambalat and Tobiah, agent of wickedness, enemies of progress. When you do good, they don't see. When you are whether you are trying to do something good, they always want to look for how to sabotage your efforts. Sambalat and Tobiah is a spirit and it brings confusion. Yes, sir. Brings confusion. They will tell you, ah, you know, that church is good, but they close late. Wait and see in the next five years, you will tell me which one is good or not. Because by the time we move to the altar, you won't have the opportunity of closing late again. I was told here that after the night vision on Friday, it ended at two, which was a very powerful time. But I was told that after the night vision, some people stayed back. They said, no, we won't close at two. They stayed back and they started praying. They did not stop prayer until about 6. 6 a.m. Those are the kind of warriors we are talking about. Those are the people caught is energizing in the land. So they will tell you that church is still long. Let me tell you the truth. How long do you stay at your place of work? How long? Eight hours. Eight and a half hours. If you have over time. But what do you do at your place of work? You give all your energy and your strength. And the one who says to you that, I want to take over your energy and strength. Come on to me, you that labor and I have a lady. I will give you rest. You don't understand that it is the rest of God that makes your life easier and better. Oh, that your church is good, but they take time. Do you know what? I am not apologizing to anybody. I respect your time and I value your time. Okay, I really value your time. But what I value more than just your current time you think is your time, is your future because the next three four years the evidence will be clear Amen. because most of you want to be great but you don't have foundation enough to resist the wind of evil you don't understand what i'm telling you the reason we are doing what we are doing is so that when your greatness manifests you don't you don't just buy one little wind you don't know that witchcraft and occultism is rising in america i'm not advertising satan i'm telling you reality so you can, if you like, you can be God's uncle and God's auntie. Whatever made Jesus to pray from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Go and read your Bible. He went up to around the evening and will not return until early dawn. Which is between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. The Son of God, full of power, that raised the dead. He needed to pray. And he warned you watch and pray so that you don't fall how many of you believe that you have a great destiny so what I'm doing to you is I'm training you so that as you are rising no witch will come and go and call one offer one one goat somewhere and call your name and call your business and yeah go no, go begin to die and then your business begin to die when they call your business name in their witchcraft combo, fire will appear and burn their faces. Yeah. The truth of it is, I'm training you. You may not like it, but that's what God raises many giants for. Amen. And that's what I'm raised for, to train you. You will not have all this extra time I'm giving to you. Standing up at night to be able to pray on your own. That's what you will do. If you call me, I would love to come, but I can't. Because I have done my own part. When the teacher finished teaching the students, he will wait back and watch him try the exam. Some of you, God has used other men of God to train you, but you are not getting the lesson. And here God is saying to you, I'm still training you. 
He said, so we pray to our God and station God. So while we are praying, we must station our guards. And you are the guard that I'm stationing in North and South America. Amen. I'm stationing your mouth as a guard. I'm stationing you. Pick up your phone and, and if you are tweeting, tweet. God is moving in our ministry. Whether the devil likes it or not, he can't stop it. Amen. God is bringing a great someone like Jamal Bright. Send them. Because your own destiny has opened up. Amen. You will walk into it triumphantly. Amen. I say you walk into it triumphantly. Amen. You are the guards that are stationed. I want you to pray this one prayer. You are going to come against every agent of confusion in your life. Amen. Amen. Every Sambalat and Tobiah in your life. As we are praying this prayer, pray for your son and pray for yourself. Uh, I'm so glad you are here.